All right, who's ready for this model number? This one's a crazy one. Check this out. This is the Intel D945 GC NL motherboard. Now, what this is, is a very affordable, cost-efficient motherboard that's gonna be great if you're building like a workhorse or a home system that's just gonna do word processing if you're a college student. If you're gonna do a four to $500 system, this would be a great base. Um, it doesn't have all the crazy, insane features, but it's great to build a basic computer. So it's great for office systems. And uh, I'll tell you what, it has onboard graphics, so you don't have to worry about a video card. And a perfect CPU to go with this, I would say would be like an E4300, Core to duo very affordable they're like 70 bucks and that would make you a really nice system you know a lot of people nowadays computers are getting really nice and really powerful but if you're still doing the same stuff you were doing before such as surfing the web and you know answering and replying to emails and looking at YouTube burning CDs you don't need a quad core you don't need all this crazy stuff but if you'd want this would support a quad core so um, let me talk to you real quick about it let me uh, put this way over here take a look at that board very simple. As you can tell, it's very small. It's micro ATX, so it's not a full-size board. And pretty much, it will support Core 2 Duos, it will support Pentium Ds, it'll support Pentium 4s, and it will support the Celeron Ds. So you have pretty much all the motherboards, uh, all the uh, processors that are out there. If you need a new motherboard on your old system, like a Dell or something, and you have a Pentium 4, you don't want to upgrade or pay money for another processor, you could use this. And then what's great about it is that it would let you upgrade later on to a Core 2 Duo. It will take up to the 1066 megahertz frontside bus Core, du uh, Core 2 Duos, and it takes uh, DDR2 667 megahertz memory. Now, there's only two DIMMs, and it's a maximum of two gigs. So, at the price point, you know, you kind of sound like, oh, I want four DIMMs, but you're going to be running Windows XP on a system based on this board would be your best bet. It could run Vista, but I recommend XP. And with two gigs, you have more than enough for XP. As a matter of fact, with one gig, you have more than enough for XP. And uh, XP, when it first came out, was running on 256. No problems. So imagine that. Now, uh, let me give you a quick tour. Starting off down here, I'm going to show you that you do have the ability to throw on a video card in there if you so desire. This is a PCI Express X16 video card slot. That's right there. You also have a PCI Express X1 slot. You can add there uh, sound cards, fiber cards, any extra peripherals that you may have. And then you also have two PCI slots. So pretty much you could put a wireless card or whatever you want. You have a lot of uh, connectivity to add stuff on there. It's not going to be a problem. And uh, let's go to the side here. Let me go starting up here from the top. Those are your PS2s for your mouse and your keyboard. Uh, what's another thing that's nice about this is you do get serial and parallel. So again, it's a budget system for someone who might have older parts. You have an older printer at home and you don't want to upgrade it, you don't want to waste money. Right here, you just connect it up and you're good to go. You have your onboard graphics and of course, like I said, you do have the ability to add a video card, but if that money's not there right now, onboard graphics, you don't have to spend an extra cent on a video card. And you get two, uh, I'm sorry, four USB 2.0 ports and a nice little feature that I like that they added on here is that it's got gigabit ethernet. So if you're using this as a home theater PC system, that's gonna be very affordable and very you know budget because it's only gotta run one program. It's great because this gives you access to your home network where you might have a NAS. And if you wanna transfer high def videos from an NAS, this is great because you're gonna do a thousand megabytes per second or megabits per second very fast. And then here's your six channel audio. It's 5.1 audio right there on board. So again, you don't need to get a sound card and uh, you know, nice little passive heat sink. It's gonna run very quiet, obviously. There's no active cooling on here. And uh, what else can I tell you? I pretty much nailed it all. It's using the 945 GC chipset from Intel. Again, Core 2 Duos, Semprons, Pentium Ds, and Pentium 4s. Uh, I'll go over what's in the box with you real quick just because I've only been on here for two minutes. I've told you everything, so I gotta fill it in somehow. Now, normally, I show you guys these and then I throw them away because I don't think anyone's gonna use them. You might actually use them. These are gonna be great. What this is gonna do, these are ID cables. They're gonna let you hook up your old hard drives. Now, you do have four SATA headers on here. You know, up there, I missed, missed the SATA header. Let me show you the SATA header. Zoom in right here. You have four, let me see, get some light on them. There we go. Four SATA headers, or SATA, however you wanna pronounce it. So you can put up to four hard drives right there on this board. Uh, and then, like I said, I recommend you put your operating system and uh, your programs on a SATA hard drive just to give you that boost in performance uh, right off the bat. But let's say you do have these older IDE hard drives and you maybe bought a bigger one for your older system that you upgraded, you can still load that on here and it's not gonna be a big deal if you're just gonna put pictures and music on it. You don't need the performance of SATA, but your operating system, you want it to boot up quickly, so SATA is great. So again, in the box, you have these included IDE cables to hook up your old drives, even though you might still have one. You get an input output panel so that the motherboard matches your case. You get 
two SATA or SATA cables, which is serial ATA. This is what's going to let you connect those newer hard drives to your motherboard. And then you get a driver disk. You get a sticker that has all the uh, instructions for all the pins and where everything goes. So if you've never built a motherboard, a computer before, this is going to assist you greatly. Down here, this is your color coding for your switches to install the power switch, the reset button, the hard drive light, all that good stuff. This is going to make it very simple. And if you want to make it even more simple, detailed, detailed and large, colorful, bright instructions. So it tells you pretty much everything, how to do everything, not a problem. So if you get a retail uh, processor with a fan and you get this motherboard, you get a stick of RAM, just one gig is enough. You load XP on there, you're good to go. You have a great affordable system. It's gonna do, it's gonna be great for a media center. It's gonna be great for a workhorse, uh, at, you know, basic system to answer emails and word processing and Excel at work. This is more than you would ever need. And it's very, very affordable. You get a great one year warranty with this. And when you build a system like that, all the parts have their cumulative warranty. So rather than Dell giving you a year, everyone gives you a year. And then some of them give you three years and sometimes they give you lifetime. Hard drives are usually five years, memory is three years. And uh, actually memory is lifetime usually. So you get all this, you actually get a better warranty overall than if you were to buy a pre-built system. So great board, great system. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. I will see you guys next time. For more information on the Intel D945GCNL socket 775 motherboard, go to compusa.com and type in I69-2152 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA. Great.